Hi, Jürgen. Congratulations on reaching the quarterfinals. Uh, another night, you could probably have scored four. So how are you feeling when you've done enough to win over two legs, yet you've lost your beat home record? And can maybe a job like that give you an extra push for what lies ahead this season? Pete Krabietz always says, the art of football is to lose the right games. I still hate it, but if there was any any um, kind of game we could have lost and could have afforded to lose, it was tonight, uh, because the main target, obviously, of this competition is to, to get through. But you are right. It's not that I'm here, like, over the moon. <laughs> I'm really happy that we went through, because, um, obviously, when we saw the draw in the first place, it was like, OK, that's a tough one. So we went through, and I think over the two legs we deserved it. Um, so that's fine that we had um, some problems in the game tonight for different reasons. One is the quality of the opponent. They are really, they are a really good football team. And they set up, we know that in the league, a little bit from Leeds under Bielsa, just with much more quality. And that makes it really tricky um, to play against them. But we still had our chances and didn't score. But about when I think about the game, I didn't like our counter press. I don't think we won in the first 20 minutes any kind of ball back. We, we, you have to be kind of expensive when you open up, when you when you're in possession. But when you lose the ball and we lost the ball, obviously in, in, in strange moments, um, then you have to to chase the situation, and um, that was not exactly how I wanted it. But um, in the end, we have to respect the quality of the opponent. We do that. Um, and how is that? It's a big if, but we didn't score. But if we would have used our chances uh, from set pieces, from uh, yeah, other situations, <laughs> it was a bit slapstick how we missed the chances in the end. We still could have won the game. So I really think that's, and that's the only thing I'm interested in, um, that um, it's, uh, it's fair that we are through uh, against a really strong opponent. And so. Now let's carry on. But also get your view on the sending off, Jurgen, as well, because clearly Sanchez has played the ball, but also clearly there's contact with the follow through that obviously it endangers an opponent. I don't understand why we have to why we have to discuss that. Um, because in football uh, uh, yeah, if you've played football, if you can win the ball only if you bring yourself in a position that you endanger the opponent, then you don't win the ball. So that's it. If Fab goes in, in with the same intention, like with a long leg, then both players get injured. But Fab is there because he judges the ball. If he is not flying in, then I will get it. Um, but because Andre is flying in, then he touched the ball before, and that's possible. But in the end, he cannot stop and, and hit Fab in a really bad way, to be honest. And I, I think he was quite lucky that he didn't get a different colour in the first half. And uh, foul on Thiago, uh, leg that high against the knee, similar situation. Yeah, it's passion is good, absolutely good. But um, if it leads to these kind of things, it just doesn't help. Thanks, Vinny. OK, we've got uh, Giuseppe and Luca. I'm going to go to Giuseppe first. Giuseppe, can you ask in English or is it in Italian? In Italian, OK. OK, a second. Hopefully this works. Far away. Yes, I hear Really good, really good. Um, oh, sorry. <laughs> um, both teams really good. Um, different setup. Um, I think um, I was said after the, the, the games against Milan. I really like the project there. This kind of mix with young players and all these kind of things. Um, I like um, how how they approach the games, um, the way they play. Um, Inters. Probably more experienced, eh? so um, and has obviously a different setup. It's this man marking, which is really tough to play against. Um, they, um, I can imagine, when an opponent sits deep, then it might be more difficult for them. But in general, the quality um, both teams have is really exceptional. And um, I don't think if anybody talks about uh, the quality of Italian football, 
nobody talks about the top four or five we faced Atalanta um, and they gave us a proper game here at Anfield as well. It was really difficult. Um, Juve, yeah, we don't have to talk about. Yeah, And then Napoli, we played quite a lot against Napoli, to be honest. Um, so we are obviously the Italian experts and um, yeah, it's, let me say like this, um, if you get an Italian team in the draw, it's not that you start a party immediately. You think, oh God, that's hard work. And it was hard work. Thank you, Giuseppe. We go to Luca, who's on. I don't think any of those back. Luca, and then we finish with John Murray from the BBC. If I was trying to put those on, I don't think we can see Luca, but hopefully we can hear him. Luca, are you there? Not sure if you can hear us now. Luca. Uh, Hello, can you, can you hear me? Yes, we can, sir. Yes, we can. Hello, uh, good evening, uh, Jurgen. I uh, just wanted to ask uh, if. Uh, oh, it's English. <laughs> Sorry, okay. Uh, has this game confirmed uh, to you the, the impression you had before this game? Uh, I mean, that Inter is probably the, the strongest side in Italy, and uh, if uh, Inter deserves to be considered as the favorite in the Scudetto race, thank you. <laughs> I don't want to cause Inter any problems, though. Like, um, <laughs> and I have said already, I like the AC Milan as well, and we shouldn't forget Juve. And um, I know Napoli lost now a decisive game, but it doesn't mean they're out of the race. So um, I have no idea who will be Italian champion. Um, to become champion in whichever country, you need to have quality. All these teams have quality, and on the other hand, on the other side, you need to be lucky as well with injuries. And I'm not sure about Inter tonight. What happened to De Free and and Brozovic? Uh, they are for sure very important players for Inter, um, and that's why I say, I say you need to be lucky as well. So I will follow, and um, who will will make the race? But it's not my first thing. What I really think about. Final question of the night, John Murray from the BBC. You, you, you won't worry too much about this, will you? Because of the circumstances, will you just put it behind you? Parts, not everything. So um, there are, I'm going mean, to mean, tell you that the first 20 minutes I didn't like too much um, our, our counter press, and it's something that has nothing to do with your opponent, that's only about us. Um, and to go, we conceded. We shouldn't have conceded, um, even when the finish was really brilliant. But we could have done differently before. Um, so it's not that um, I'm the type of guy who puts now the finger in it and, and tell the boys that it was completely um, out of range or whatever. It's, things say it can happen. Again, you have to make sure that you know about it and, and you don't do it again, or you make do it just better next time. Um, how is that? Uh, we could have played better, not too much better, to be honest, because the opponent is just really good. It's not that I think we should have dominated them for whatever, however. Um, it's really difficult, but um, we all know if we use, if the first header goes in on all the kind of, I know it's big if, but we, we use one or two chances, the game has a completely different story. And because we didn't use them in the state in the game, and um, then they could score the goal, and uh, then it was obviously more exciting than we wanted. Not for too long, because the red card, and then we could control it completely. And um, so, um, I think we are deserved in the quarterfinal, and that's actually all I'm interested in.